Uh, Dan, I mean, you see this footage on the screen, just people holding yeah. Glocks out on the street, broad daylight, pushing women onto the tracks. I mean, look yeah. at that. I've never seen anything like this before. Nah, it's hard. It's hard to watch, Jesse. I mean, I, I'm a New Yorker. I grew up in New York. I, I, I didn't leave New York until I was in my 20s. I lived in Queens, uh, you know, Glendale, Middle Village, Maspeth. I mean, I could go through all the neighborhoods. You know, I still love New York. I still have two brothers who live in New York. I have a mother who lives in New York. They've been New Yorkers their entire life. Um, it's hard to watch. Let me just make a couple points here. Number one, you know, listen, the cutesy time with this crap is over. They're doing this is intentional, um, obviously intentional on behalf of the bad guys. Of course, they're, they're, they're committing crimes on purpose of their own volition. But the Braggs, the Gascones, the Bowdens, the Kim Foxes, these Soros funded DAs, this is the plan. Chaos is their coin of the realm. Cut all the BS. I don't want to hear from the libs. Don't bother tweeting me. I just flip you the double barrel middle finger anyway. I don't really <laughs> care. They're doing, I really don't. This is intentional. What you are seeing is exactly what you voted for if you voted for these DAs. They want this. Chaos is their coin of the realm. That's a number one. And number two, I, I know it's on purpose because I lived through in my early years as an NYPD, NYPD police officer, the transformation into broken windows policing, where they scooped up the guys for the little stuff, the jump in the turnstiles and stuff, and the Pettit Larson, he's right. They did that because those were the guys who later went on to commit the big crimes. So if you got sent to jail over the weekend and sat in central booking because you jumped the turnstile, Jesse, you weren't out there to rape or rob or kill. It wasn't hard. What Chase and Bowden and Gascon and Alvin Bragg are doing now is break more windows policing. It's, hey, there's a broken window. Let's break the hell out of some more windows. <laughs> you voted for this, period. This is the plan. It is not a glitch. It's how it's supposed to work if you voted for it. Something happened to me today that's never happened to me before because I walk around the city. I don't like think about crime. I never, I just walk. I'm confident, whatever. For the first time in my my life in New York City, Dan, I was walking up and I realized I'm getting near Penn Station. I'm getting near Midtown. Yeah. You know, there's a precinct yeah. here. It's like, you know, it's like central Manhattan. And this is where all the crime is happening. And I said to myself, I'm actually going to go to Madison. All right, yeah, I'm going I'm to go one block over because I don't want to hit that Penn Station area because you start seeing these half naked homeless guys. You know, their their crack is hanging out. You know, th who knows what could happen? And I've never felt that way. I can only imagine how how women feel, how teenagers feel. And, and this is a new experience for me. Yeah. I mean, think about it. In San Francisco, they have a human feces map. Um, I assure you, that unlike Rice Cerrone, that's not the San Francisco treat, okay? I mean, that's, you're right. Jesse, when, you know, when I was in, lived as a police officer in the Giuliani era, um, this stuff was unacceptable. Um, the the low-level crimes like that were, were taken apart. And let me just say one more thing about what happened in San Francisco. The most dangerous place in America right now for a minority is to be surrounded by rich liberals, white liberals. Yeah. I'm not kidding. It was, if you look at the Bowden vote count, it was only rich white liberals who can afford their own security guards and security systems who voted to keep him in office. Right. It was minorities who vote, voted his ass out. That is the most dangerous place in America for minorities is to be surrounded by white liberals. Get away from these people like <laughs> Snake Plissken. Escape from New York as quick as you can if you're surrounded by white liberals. They are the most <laughs> dangerous people in America. They should slap those warning signs on him like a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> Dangerous white liberal, True. riddled Just with white away. guilt. <laughs>